I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV. We're here at Stanley's Comic Con, and I'm here with Selden Young, which I'm actually really excited about because I was a huge fan of the Swan Princess when I was little, and this is the producer of it. So, Selden, can I ask you first, um, how, wh where did the inspiration come from for the first Swan Princess? Actually, the inspiration originally came from the director, Rick Rich, who previously was at Disney. He did the Fox and the Hound and the Black Cauldron. And he had an idea in his mind that he wanted to do Swan Lake, the ballet, in a new kind of story patterned after Swan Lake. And what came out was Swan Princess. It's amazing. And I know you're doing um, an entire series now. Can you tell me about that? So about uh, seven years ago, I got together with Sony Pictures and they were very interested in re-engaging the Swan Princess because it had a really large cult following. And so, yeah, there you go. All we had to do was find our hundreds of millions of fans. And so we started with a Christmas story for the Swan Princess and from there it's just gone on six, seven, eight, and now coming nine. And That's amazing. If you, if you, if you really consider it, this is quite a story in the fact that Swan Princess now, having nine films once that the ninth one is released, will be in a very elite category. Name, name 10 franchises that have nine or more full-length animated, or full-length films, not just animated. There's only one animated film that has 13, that's Land Before Time. But nine or more in their franchise, you can't name 10, and Swan Princess will be there. That is absolutely amazing. I'm actually really excited. I kind of have goosebumps over this. Okay, so uh, what has it really been like for you to see the evolution of it um, and just the changes from the original Swan Princess? Well, this isn't my normal style. I hire people to do it, like Rick Rich, who you know has been a, in this process all along. This is now 90% of my time. I'm a business guy, I'm an entrepreneur, but now it's all about artistry, and fans and experience and stories and that's what creates the excitement is, is that you get to talk to people that love this film. Absolutely. Okay, so for little girls um, or for people like me, little girls at heart who, you know, loved it from the beginning, what are, um, do you have any little tidbits that you can share about what we might be able to expect coming up with uh, the new film, the new series, that kind of thing? Well, I can tell you that uh, we continue to put more and more music in them and we try to find the best kinds of music that kids will enjoy along with adults and making songs that they can sing and use in their life. I'll give you one example, in Swan Princess 5 we had a song that was, is called Always With You. I donated this to the country of Thailand for the tsunami survivors. That. When you think about songs always with you, we're with you all the time even though you've had struggles in your life, it's that kind of thing that we try to put into our film. So I will tell you, coming up in nine, we now are gonna get a lot more diverse in the films. That's what you can expect. Places like Africans and Indians and Brazilians and Russians and Chinese so all of a sudden you see that franchise exploding all over the world. Amazing, I'm really excited to hear this. Thank you so much, Selden. You're welcome. Okay, so keep an eye out for everything Swan Princess. I know I'm super excited. I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV.